Welcome back. Boris Johnson is feeling the heat. A law forcing the British Prime Minister to try to avoid a no-deal Brexit goes into effect today. This is another cabinet member resigns over Johnson's handling of Britain's effort to leave the European Union. Joining us right now is the director of the Heritage Foundation's Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom. Former foreign policy advisor under Margaret Thatcher, Niall Gardner, is with us. Niall, it's great to see you. Thanks so much it's for being here. Great to see you, Maria. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, what, what's your takeaway on all of this with this no deal Brexit going into effect and all of a sudden a lot of pushback on, on Boris Johnson? Yeah, it's been a tough few days for Boris Johnson and for the British, uh, British government, but I think that we're still on course of Brexit on October 31st. Brexit remains the the official position of the British government, uh, and I think we're likely to see a no-deal Brexit October 31st, even though Parliament has passed legislation calling for an extension to Brexit until the end of January. Uh, the Prime Minister is, I think, likely to challenge uh, the legality and the constitutionality of this, of this legislation. And also, the British government has made it 100% clear they're not going to seek any kind of extension from the European Union. So you have a Prime Minister who is very tough, he's very hard line, he's not willing to compromise here. We're not, we're not talking about Theresa May here, we're talking about Boris Johnson, uh, who is a very, very uh, charismatic, highly principled, a conservative uh, leader who is determined to deliver the will of the British people. So you think that they are leaving? You, you are still, because I wonder with all of this pushback, if there's a new wave of, of resistance against this now. But you, you think that this is going to happen? In October. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's going to happen. You have a UK government that is 100% determined to, to leave. Uh, and, and I think that the opponents of Boris Johnson really underestimate him and his team. Also, uh, it's encouraging to see, uh, for example, the French uh, saying over the weekend uh, that they see no reason to extend Article 50, and the French currently are opposed uh, to any extension to, uh, to Brexit, basically. And so I think already within Europe there's a clear divide on this issue, uh, and some in Europe are saying, let's get, go, go forward with Brexit as soon as possible, let's get Brexit uh, out, out of the way and move on from it. Yeah. And so I think that um, you are going to see an almighty clash between uh, Boris Johnson and the, the Remainers, as are known in the UK, over the next few weeks. But you have a Prime Minister who I think has a lot of Churchillian grit here, uh, who is going to stand his ground. Huh. Uh, and also Johnson is saying, let's have a general election on October the 15th. Let's sort out the issue with the British public. The support for the Conservatives surging in the opinion polls at the moment. And, and a Labour leader that is deeply disliked. Yes, a Labour far-left Marxist leader, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, who the British public really fear. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is someone who would destroy the British economy, mm. uh, is somebody who also would destroy actually the special relationship with the United States as well. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn is a deeply anti-American uh, figure, mm -hmm. uh, whereas Johnson is somebody who uh, I think is a very strong prime minister. He's also very pro-American, and he'll also I think build an extremely strong partnership with uh, with the United States. So there's so much fear about Brexit, and the um, the worst thing that could happen, right? If if if, if it goes through October 31st, what happens in looking at December? Is it, how does it even out? What's the They've got to like? do trade deals, right? Yeah, I think that as soon as uh, the UK leaves the, uh, the EU, Britain is going to negotiate and implement trade deals with countries across the world. Already, uh, the UK has been uh, talking to the United States about a free trade deal uh, for the last two or three years or so, and, and deep-seated discussions have been in place for many, many years. You are going to see a large-scale US-UK free trade agreement, but already the British have been talking to over 100 countries across the world about negotiating, implementing free trade deals. Britain, I think, is going to thrive and prosper in the Brexit era and be a tremendous success as, as a great free trading nation on the world stage. So, so you think that they, they will be able to do those deals with, with, other, with other nations Absolutely. within Europe as well? Let me yes. ask about Hong Kong, because yeah. students form the human chains yes. in support of the anti-government protests today. That, of course, following the massive demonstrations in the city over the weekend. Thousands of protesters held a march to the U.S. consulate calling for Washington support. They're holding the American flag yes. there yeah. in Hong Kong. This after Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam formally withdrew that controversial extradition bill last week. And last week on this program, I spoke with democracy advocate Jimmy Lai about the protests. He joined me on Friday. Who was his take? Why will the resistance go on? Tell us what the people on the ground, including yourself, want. I know that one issue is the fact that universal suffrage is something you've spoken about a lot. You want to be able to right. uh, elect your own leadership for Hong Kong. 
the Beijing government is not going to give us any room for freedom. If we don't fight, we will lose all we have. And we will lose the freedom, the rule of law, the way of life, all that we have. We have no way but to fight. Do you, do you agree with that? Hong Kong is over. If you know, He's got such courage, Jimmy Lai. He's yes. on the front lines there. Yeah. They firebombed his house last yes. week. Yeah, these are very courageous people fighting for their, for their freedom. And the protesters in Hong Kong deserve our full support, the support of the full f uh, free world. Uh, and they are appealing to the United States, Great Britain. Yeah, but is it um, going to help? I mean, it... Yeah, I think that, I mean, so far the protesters have won uh, yeah. this initial uh, uh, victory with the, uh, with, with the withdrawal of this yeah. extradition treaty. But, but this is a, a much bigger battle. It and, sure and the, is. The, the Chinese battle. are going to be very, very tough, tough to deal with. Now, no thank doubt about you. it. Thanks for My being pleasure. Now, Thank Gardner, you. We'll be right back.